John Alba here with Fight, and man, we got a living legend with us. You saw her on Still Fight. Still living. Very much so. <laughs> Gratefully as well. Uh, <laughs> we are, you saw her on Fight and Focus just a few weeks ago here on Fight. Yes. And now we are talking with Medusa. You got a book, you got a movie. I mean, you got like everything going on right now. How you doing today at WrestleCon? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited, but it's so surreal because your whole life is a movie. You know what I mean? So being in the entertainment business, I knew stepping in that I was like, my end picture, no pun intended, is that someday I wanted to write a book and then I wanted to make a movie of it. And then here I am, in full the same circle. Year. Okay. Well, it's not about my life, the movie. <laughs> Um, but we're going to get to that in one second. So many, many years of writing this book, The Woman Who Would Be King, right? And it's by ECW Press. And Paul Heyman wrote the foreword. And Greg Oliver, oh my God, what an amazing writer. He actually put my words actually all together in the book and um, made it make sense. So. First of all, I love the interview in Focus Through Fight. It was Thank so you. good. You guys did an amazing job. And I wouldn't be standing here today if it really wasn't for Mike Weber. I get those those name drops in. I'm with no, you. No, but I'm do kidding. you know, if you, read the my best. Book, if you read my book, you would know. Because one day I was like in wrestling, it was like nine, 1999. 1999, woo! But I have a connection with Prince. I do. I recorded my single. Do. I do. I recorded my single, Who's Medusa, at Paisley Park Studios. No one knows that either. Anyway, so <laughs> so if it wasn't for Mike giving me a call one day in 1999, he's like, hey, Deuce, what are you doing? I'm like, um, I am so, you know, the wrestling business, I'm just, I'm over it. I don't like the way the women's wrestling is going. You know, and I've been hitting the pinnacle of my career a few times. I said, I'm out. I'm going to retire. I'm going to have a good life. He goes, no, Deuce, um, I need you. What do you think about, well, wait a minute. Would you like to drive a monster truck? And I'm like, what? Are you freaking kidding me? He's no, really, Deuce, we need a badass woman that is like a gearhead like you that rides Harleys and dirt bikes. And I'm like, yes, keep talking. And then, and then he's like, no, really, will you come out and test drive a monster truck? And I'm like, okay. And then. I was introduced to Grave Digger and Monster Jam, became a two-time champion, and here we are, fast forward. And he also worked for WCW, yeah. so we got great history. He's done a few things over the course of his career as yes, well. He has. And, and you can read a lot of those stories in your book, as you just mentioned before. Yes, but I really want to talk to you today about the movie Champion. Yes. Uh, yes. We got the premiere coming up here later tonight as we tape this. I know this is something that you really care a lot about. We spoke. I do. We spoke with Natalia just yesterday and got to hear some of her thoughts. What was this experience like for you? So when the director and co-producer and stuff reached out to me from um, the IBM, you know, the where they get all your movie information, um, they're like, um, yes, we'd like to really um, see if you are interested in uh, doing our movie, which possibly could be a series, um, and if you would read, you know, our sides and see if you're interested. I'm like, sure, I'll take a look. I looked, and first of all, the name is Champion. Right away, I'm like, okay, this has got to, you know, maybe it's about wrestling, something. Sure enough, it's about fighting. So the movie series itself is an amazing story. It's about a mother, a woman, her daughter, and the full circle of life in the entertainment business. And in this one, about fighting. And so I get to play the part of Gloria, and I am the mother and it hits home with me guys and the the director producers they didn't even know how much this hit home with me and realizing when i was reading the parts and the stuff that i had to go through in some of these scenes it was i just it came so natural so natural and um i got the rough draft of the series that we're going to show tonight previously and my husband nearly fell backwards and said oh my gosh this is amazing, amazing movie, guys. And I, today, during WrestleCon here, everybody coming up, buying their book, and they're like, we're gonna be there tonight at the movie, so we have a lot of people. I am just so excited for this, for the movie. So, you just mentioned that you've been relating quite a bit to the character yes. itself. How did that help you throughout the process of filming and really ingraining yourself in the character? So when you're acting, you got to remember you're acting, but 
Um, of course, as bigger movie parts come, you know, come forward, as I'm getting some now, and it's like it, totally incredible. Um, it's not like I'm going to win an Oscar, but you never know, even at this age, right? Hell, people, the crazier things have you, been done. You've, you've driven hey, monster I've, trucks. I mean, like anything can happen, literally. Hey, I paved the way literally <laughs> on my own for other things to happen. I can change the trajectory, and I'm going to do it again. But anyway, so putting myself back into this position, so what you do is that you're reading your lines and you're going over the whole script. And I just don't read, I just don't read my part. I have to read the whole movie, the whole series. And so that you get the whole flow, the whole feeling of every character, every emotion. And so when we're in a certain scene, like if we're in the hospital, there's a hospital scene. And that was so emotional for me. You could, my eyes were tearing up. Like right now it's so hard and I just, you focus and you try to and you put yourself in that same time that same position and it just comes out oh my gosh and that's you focus and if you haven't had that experience even as an actress that's what acting's all about it's about immersing yourself into that situation or finding a situation like that and experiencing it and going there and living it that's what a lot of actors do today like if they have a place or a subject matter like if it's a nursing home situation, you go there, you go to the nursing home, you live it for a while. That's what you do. And I'm so, so ready for this series. You gotta immerse yourself just a little bit. Yes. Uh, I wanna ask you real quick here before we wrap up. Uh, it's obviously something that people can check out here on Fight Champion. Uh, why is it worth their time? Why is it worth their time consuming this story? Well, I feel, and I can't speak for everyone, but I, I will tell you this. It's something that is very relatable. And if everybody is here that is not just a wrestling fan, but you could be like an MMA fan or just a fighter, or maybe you have, might have a family member that has interest. This is a great story of overcoming and the adversities of doing so and the right choices. And it comes across just like that. The writer is amazing, amazing. I can't wait to, you know, just walk yeah, the red carpet. That's what you're most looking forward to, just looking good on a red carpet. No, if you know, I don't wear a lot of makeup, and I'm, I believe in being natural. And Why can't you look good being natural? I don't understand. I am, that's just that's it. Right. There we go. <laughs> I don't need all that extra fluff, baby. Oh, man, I'm, I'm all about that. Look, I know a thing or two about hair and all that stuff. It's Your hair is more done up than my hair. <laughs> hey, listen, congratulations on everything oh, you got going out. Thank you. The book, the movie, I'm you're crushing it. I'm not done yet. Oh, no. no. Yeah. What, what's next? Well, I'm, I work with NWA, with Billy Corgan, and I'm producing with NWA which we're going to be live um, in Chicago for the 312 uh, with Bite. And so uh, we're very, very excited for that. Um, so working with that, doing the book, I've got some great projects coming up. Remember, movies, series. And so it just doesn't stop. Life is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. You are what you create and you become your environment. So choose wisely. Everything's a choice. There's a reason that you're the woman that became king. Just saying. I am king. <laughs> She's Medusa. Thanks for checking out this little fight exclusive. We got more coming your way later today.